This presentation briefly shows how to create, test and deploy web applications with AwareIM. AwareIM needs to be up and running before you do anything, which is indicated by this message on the control panel. Probably the best way to get familiar with AwareIM is to look at a sample application. The sample applications supplied with AwareIM are a great resource for learning how things are done. The easiest way to use a sample application is to click the Help button on the control panel, then Sample Applications, and then select the application you want to deploy. Where I am will now deploy the application and start the web browser. Initially there is no data, so where I am will populate the database with some sample data. You can now play with the application and see how it works. To look at the design of the sample application, click on the Start Configuration Tool button on the AwareIM control panel. Enter password as the initial password. You will see two business spaces. One was created automatically when you installed AwareIM. This is the business space representing your own application. And another one has been created when we deployed our sample application. Expand this business space. Select the current version and click on the load button in the toolbar. We can now look at the design elements of the version. We expand the version and we can see business objects, business rules, queries, processes and other design elements. Double click on an element to see its properties. For example, we can double click on the product order business object and see the list of its attributes on the right. You should watch other video tutorials and read the user guide and other documents to learn how these elements work together for the application. Another way to use a sample application is to create a new business space based on the sample application. Right click on the business spaces node, click new and then select create from sample application radio button and then select the application you want. You can now look at its design or publish and start using it in the browser. I will explain how to do this a little later. Let's say now that you are ready to start designing your own application. To do this, expand the business space that has been created for you when you installed the Where I Am or create a new business space. You will see a couple of versions there. The one that you can modify has the new state and is shown in green. It is locked so you can make design changes. You can add business objects, business rules, queries, processes and other design elements that make up the configuration of your application. For example, right click on the business objects and select new to create a new object. Once you have finished the configuration work, you can test your application. Click the test button in, in the toolbar. Note that the state of the version has changed to under test and it is now displayed in pink. Now click the operation mode button. This will start your default browser. Enter the name of your business space. Enter the username, admin, and password for password. And tick the testing mode box. 
you can now start using your application. What you see here is just the default screen normally only used by system administrators. We can search for objects or create a new object. If you want to make changes to your application, go back to the Configuration tool and click the Log button. The version state is now changed back to New and it is displayed in green again. Make the changes you want, then click the Test button and then go back to your browser and just refresh the screen. The browser will now pick up the changes in your configuration. Or you can click the Operation Mode button again and log in again. Once you have finished testing, you can deploy your application for the users. You need to click the Publish button Note that the state of the version has now changed to current and it is now displayed in black. Click the Operation Mode button to go to the login form in the browser. This time, do not tick the Testing Mode checkbox. This will make sure that the system logs into the production mode rather than the testing mode. There are also more convenient login forms that you can use as described in the login section of the user guide. You can find more details about AwareIAM in the AwareIAM user guide located in the docs directory of your AwareIAM installation or on our website. You can find other useful documents here. For step-by-step -step instructions on designing an application, for example, read the configuration case study document. Or watch the six-part video tutorial called Creating an Application on our website. Make sure you watch other video tutorials on our website. They contain a wealth of information about where I am.